Hello and welcome to our lesson on using Pythagoras' theorem to solve complex problems. We've been given a triangle and we're going to work out the length of P to N. We're going to do this using the right angle triangle OPN, where O to N is 30 centimetres and this is the hypotenuse in this right angle triangle. O to P we don't know but we can call it H for height and P to N we, we have been given as X. Pythagoras' theorem tells us that V squared on the side of the hypotenuse which is 30 squared is equal to the area of the square on the side of the X which is X squared plus the area of the square on the side of the H which is H squared. We're trying to work out x squared and we've been given the hypotenuse. To use this right angle triangle, we need to work out the height. However, we can use the height from the other right angle triangle, which is highlighted in blue. So we have a new right angle triangle where O to P is still the height, H. N to P, we're given as 7 and n to o we're given as 25. In this right angle triangle, 25 is the hypotenuse. So 25 squared is equal to 7 squared plus the height squared. Well, 25 squared is 625. 7 squared is 49. And we're trying to work out the height. We can take away the 49 from both sides. So these will cancel. 625 take away 49 is 576. And that will equal to the square on the side of H. So H will equal the square root of 576. That is 24 centimetres. So from O to P we have 24 centimetres. We can use this 24 centimetres in place of H in here now. So 30 squared is equal to X squared plus the 24 squared. 30 squared is 900 and that is equal to X squared plus 24 squared which we know is 576. We can take away the 576 from both sides. 324 is equal to x squared. The square root of 324 is x. So x is equal to 18 centimetres. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, a square has the same perimeter as the trapezium ABCD. Work out the area of the square. Do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So the first thing we have to do is to work out the perimeter of this trapezium. To work out the perimeter we need to know every length. We don't know the length of C to B. However we can consider it as part of a right angle triangle because we know the length here it's the same as the length D to A, which is 4 centimetres. We know the length from here to here, let's call this point P, is the same as D to C, so this is 7, which means P to B must be equal to 3, because 7 add 3 makes 10. So now we have a right angle triangle, where C to P is 4, and P to B is 3. And this is the hypotenuse. Let's call C to B H for the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse squared is equal to the 4 squared plus the 3 squared. The hypotenuse squared is equal to 16 plus 9. The hypotenuse squared is equal to 25. Square root both sides. So the hypotenuse is equal to 5. So now we can work out the perimeter of our trapezium, which is the 4 
plus the 7 plus the 5 plus the 10. And that is 26 centimetres. So we know a square has the same perimeter as the trapezium, so the perimeter of a square is equal to 26 centimetres. We can call this length x. The length of a side of a square, x, will be 26 divided by 4, because a square has four equal sides. And that is 6.5 centimetres. The area of a square will be x squared, which is equal to 6.5 squared, which is 42.25 centimetres squared. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.